Hey guys, welcome back to the Pokey Shed. Today is the official release day of Scarlet and Violet 151. <clears throat> so we have two ETBs and a booster bundle that we're going to get into. And uh, hopefully we can pull maybe a Charizard or um, I guess the Eric it might be the next best one. So we'll see what we get. I haven't really looked at a whole lot in this set. Uh, I know it's got the, the base trio starters in Charizard, Blastoise, Venusaur. Um, I think there's an Alakazam in here. Uh, you got the Erica, and I think there's a Giovanni as well. So just the six packs in the booster bundles. Here we go, 151. So I'm not sure. Let's see. I think it's just a one code trick. Yeah, my, I need to clean up my desk. It's getting pretty messy. So I think it's just a one to the front. The basic energy. We got the Charmander. Sparrow. Bellsprout. Magikarp. Ivysaur. Zoom this in. There we go. Slowbro. Machoke. Tentacool. I'm going to move this over there. Got a Dratini and a Gengar. So nothing in this first one. On to the next pack. So yeah, you're looking for the Charizard. I think it's still, well, it's release day. But I know it's going for over $100 for sure. You also get like uh, special energies too, I believe. Like uh, Cosmo Foil maybe. I only watched one video that was brief today. Dragonair, Cycling Road, Weezing, and Weezing. All right, 0 for 2. <clears throat> also, a few people I've been talking to, seems like a couple people are hitting huge, and other people are like totally whistling on things. So, be interesting to see how we do. We have, I think it's 24 packs total, 6 and 18, so 24. All right, we got a Cosmo. There it is. There's our first Cosmo Dark Energy. Got Oddish, Mankey, Meowth, Execute, Hitmonchan, Dugong, Seeking. We got a Sandshrew, Tentacool, and a Starmie. So nothing there. Not sure what these Cosmo Energies are going for. Probably a buck each or something, but <clears throat> we'll look it up after. Typically what those hollow energies, the low end ones, you get like 50 cents to a dollar for. Alright, we got the lightning energy. Radata, Squirtle, Lickitung, Venonat, Kabuto, Cedra. <clears throat> we got Gloom, we got a Lickitung. Here's our first hit, is the Needle King. So I'm thinking about doing a binder of the illustration rares. I gotta take a look at see what all the hits are. And we got a Chansey. So I originally, originally when this set came out, I thought all 151 Pokemon had either an SIR or an IR. I thought all 150, uh, one of them had it, but uh, from what I gather, they do not, so I don't know what I'm going to do now. My original plan was to do the 151 of the SIRs, but we'll uh, see. I'm going to take a look at one of the booklets in here. Like I said, I haven't looked at the full set list. we got Pichu, Gloom, and a Needle King. I haven't looked at the full set list, so I'm not really sure what it consists of. I did watch a couple of the Japanese openings. Not open any of that myself. Alright, we got Fighting Energy. We got a Pidgey, Poliwhirl, Kakuna, Poliwag, Doug Trio, Club Fable, got a Tentacruel, got a Horsey, Seal, Vaporeon. So that was a pretty lackluster booster bundle. Just a one hit there. And that's the Needle King. Alright, we'll get into one of these booster 
out of one of these ETBs now. Just have my scissors. So I think these come with nine packs. I'm not sure what's going on. Usually the special sets come with ten. Like Hidden Fates, Shining Fates, Pokemon Go, all those. But for whatever reason, I guess the Scarlet and Violet special sets are going to nine. Alright, so that's the weird texture on that. Alright, so here's the ETB opened up. This out of here. Alright, so nine packs instead of ten, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, which getting a little disappointed. Here's our Snorlax promo. And then the rest of it's just your basic coins, sleeves. Here's your sleeves, the 151. Pokemon, your deck dividers, your energies, your markers, all that fun stuff. All right, now this is what I want to look at quickly before we move on. But yeah, so I thought there was a lot more IRs than this, but <clears throat> not a lot actually. So I might just do, I don't know. I may change my mind about it. I'm just said it's not as not as fun as I thought it was going to be. I thought like all the 150 were gonna get SIRs. And I'm not sure if that's the case in the Japanese set or not, and they're saving some for other sets or what. We'll see. I'll have a, a look at that and see if I want to bonder that or not. All right, first pack. See if we can do a bit better than that booster bundle. All right, here we go. There's your energy. Okay, we got a Fire Cosmo. Is that a sign, I wonder? Ekans, Cubone, Vulpex, Magnemite, Magneton, Needle Queen, Victory Bell. We got a Tangela. There's an Ivysaur. Does that mean we're gonna get Venusaur behind? I've seen some pack openings where they've hit like the, the starter and no. So where they've hit like one of the other ones and then the, the third uh, or the second evolution. But we got an Ivysaur. So two IRs so far. Two Cosmo Energies. No SIR yet. There we got Lightning Energy. Coughing, Psyduck, Ekans, Cubone, Erica's Invitation, Magneton, Needle Queen, we got a Haunter Reverse, Graveler Reverse, and a Flareon. I do like these hollow evolutions. So, I'm not a big fan of like bonnering commons and uncommons. I know it's for like master sets and stuff, but I'm not a master set person, so I'm probably not going to do that. Weedle, Air Balloon, Primate, Fero, the Magnemite, Grimer, and Dudrio. And a lot of people have been saying the hit rates on this were high, but we are, uh, we're not doing so hot right yet. So we're getting there. Cosmo Hollow is our second Dark Energy. The Vulpex, Magnemite, Caterpie, Eevee, a Victory Belt, Big Air Balloon, Primate. We got Reverse Primate. We got a Ditto. And just an Arbok EX. Alright, what the. I'm not sure if it's like Hidden Fates for, I don't know if you guys remember Hidden Fates, but Shining Fates was similar where like you would almost be guaranteed like one of the full art GXs or something along those lines. So I don't know if you're guaranteed an SIR or full art inside these ETBs. Dragonair, Seedra, Magikarp, Magneton. Well, there's a full art. That's an Alakazam. It's a nice looking Alakazam. Oh, this set has Kadabra back too. I forgot about that. First Kadabra card since Skyridge, I believe. 
Not too bad. Like I think cards like this, I believe, should be like like selling high because it's Alex Zam. It's a beautiful full art, but the full arts don't get enough love. <clears throat> Personally, I like some of the full arts more than the illustration rares or even the alt arts in like the sword and shield era. I thought some of the full arts were better than the uh, alt arts. Again, don't get enough love. Same thing with rainbows. I really, I like the, the sun and moon rainbows. Sword and shield ones, not really. But I did like the sun and moon rainbow rares. Fighting, Grimer, Weedle, Zubat, Goldeen, Fero, Onyx, Dragonair, Pidgeot, Meowth, and Gyarados. All right, three packs left. What we hit? We hit an EX, a full art EX, and an IR so far. All right, we got an Energy, Paris, a Voltorb, Krabby, Sandshrew, Kabuto, Galoom, Clefable, Machop, Rhydon, and a Moltres. Also disappointed how it was only Zapdos who got the SIR. Why not do all three legendary birds? Like, as good as this set is, I think they missed the opportunity on a lot of things. Like, I know we just had Eevee Heroes slash, um, jeez, I can't remember what it was called now. Evolving Skies? Is that what it is? Yeah, Evolving Skies. Um, with the Altar Eevees, but like I feel like you could have had some nice Flareons and Jolteon Vaporeon SIRs. You could have had the three Legendary Birds SIR. Uh, a Dragonite SIR would be beauty. Um, I don't know. It's definitely, uh, definitely. I think they missed the ball a little bit on this set. As much as everyone's going crazy over it, I don't, uh, not overly sold on it. All right, so not crazy, like no SIR. So we did just get the full art. All right, so last ETV. Let's see what we uh, see what we do here. So full right seem to be. Oh, less than regular Scarlet and Violet sets. We hit, when we open six and nine, so 15 packs, we've had one, two, three, four hits. So I have 15, so that's almost one in four. Whereas I think, I feel like Scarlet and Violet have been like one in three for at least a IR. All right, last DTV. Let's see what we do here. Fighting Energy, we got Krabby, Sandshrew, Seal, Doduo, Arcanine, Tentacruel, Snorlax, Arcanine, Lickitung, and Vaporeon. Right. Energy. Paris, Voltorb, Krabby, Sandshrew, Arcanine, Tentacruel, Snorlax, we got a Bulbasaur, we got a Gloom, and a Vile Bloom. Cool if it was uh, Addict Gloom and Vile Bloom. <clears throat> Alright, third pack of the last ETB. Dark Energy, we got Tentacool, Rattata, Squirtle, Lickitung, Sand Slash, Needle, Reno, Golduck, we got Abra, Seal, and Flareon. Seal, Adoluo, oh, I got this. 
Tentacool, Rattata, Sand Slash. I haven't seen that Cadabra yet. Need a Reno, Golduck, Executor. There's another one. We got Ammonite. And with a full art Mew. So nice little double hit here. I think the Mew is actually playable. So it might actually have a bit of value. There's that crease. Or is that just the way the card is? It looks like there's. Weird. It must be the way the card is, but it looks like there's a crease in this Mew. Oh. Just the pattern. Alright. So nice little double hit there. We got an Ammonite. We'll sleeve this Mew to go with the Alakazam. Full art, so no, uh, no, uh, SIRs, which is what you're, you're aiming for here. I think the, uh, I think the gold Mew is in the top 10 cards, maybe even top five. Uh, we got a Psychic Cosmo, nice little swirl up top there, too. The Venonet. Pidgey, Poliwhirl, Kakuna, Pinsir, we got Bill's Transfer, we got a Gold Bat, we got a Zubat, Rapidash, and a Marowak. Four packs to go. We got Leaf Energy, Squirtle, Lickitung, Venonat, Pidgey, Pinsir, Bill. We got a Golbat, a Chansey, a Voltorb, and a Gyarados. Alright. Lightning Energy, we got Poliwag. And why am I doing this? Those are real. Ponytail, Pikachu, Firefish, I think there's a Pikachu IR in this. Leftovers, Persian, Muck, we got a Vulpix, Sand Slash, and a Moltres. Okay, we got our third Dark Energy. This one got two big swirls in it. One there, one there. Third Dark Energy, Metapod, Ponyta, Poliwag, Pikachu, Leftovers, Persian, Muck, Protective Goggles, Clefable. We got Mew EX. So I think this is the best regular EX. Maybe Charizard might be better. But I'm pretty sure this guy's playable. So we'll see what's going on there. Alright, last pack. So unless we hit something here, it looks like it's just like a full art, an IR, and a regular EX for ETB from our small sample size. Energy, Old Amber, Pidgeotto, Magmar, Shelter, Venomoth, Daisy, Rapidash, we got a Moltres, we got a Mankey, and we got a Raichu. So, not too, too great here today. We did hit the two full arts in Alexam and Mew. Three IRs in Nidoking, King, Ivysaur, and Ammonite. And then two EXs in Arbok and Mew. And we did end up with five Cosmo Hollows right here. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Until next time, enjoy.